Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and I'm sad to say this is the final tutorial in the Make a Professional Website series. Today we are just going to learn how to add a new image into our fading images slideshow so it's already created and I just wanted to make this tutorial so that down the road say you want to put another image into what you have just made and you might not remember exactly what to do I don't want you to have to sit through all of my videos all over again you can just come to this video it'll show you exactly what to do and you'll be right on the right track but I'm sure you might remember but this could be a good video anyway so what, let's see where we left off as we do with all of our videos. So we, let's go, um, let's preview this. F12 it. So we have our fading images slideshow, we have our hover buttons effect, and we can go to a next video, we can pause it, and if we click here for more information, we go to one of the web pages in my site. So, what we are going to do today is we are going to take out this whole lion picture. I'm sick of it, I don't want it anymore. And we're going to add a new title and a new caption and behind it instead of the line we're going to put this house kitty so if you are looking at this video you probably have your own images by now but um i'm going to put a link in my description to this house kitty if you would like to follow along so let's drag this house kitty into photoshop and we are going to edit this house kitty just like we have done with our images back like 10 tutorials back so you're going to go image image size and let's try to change the width to 500 but that makes the height too little so we have to change the height to 375 and click OK and let's zoom in so we can see this a little better and let's double click this to make this layer editable and we're going to come to our rectangle marquee tool make it a fixed size and make it 500 px tab 375 px enter and we are going to find an area where we have a good amount of the house kitty and the leaves. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to go select, inverse, delete, command and control D. Grab my crop tool, crop out the house kitty, snap it, double click, image, image size, 500 by 375. We are doing this to perfection at this point. So now we want to insert this into the template. So go file, open, come to wherever your extras are. Remember we added that extras into our first site and you're going to see that template. Double click that template. Now double click F, get out of this full screen so that we can see our tabs. And we're going to drag that, um, we're going to drag that house kitty in. So grab that marquee tool, Drag the house kitty into the template, let go, drag that layer one down, and then snap it. Now that it's snapped, we are going to edit this title and description. So let's go to our text layer, and let's go to title, and let's click the title. Highlight everything by command and control A, and let's type in house cat, and check mark, and let's go down to our description, text layer, Click right in there, command and control A, and let's say, this is a nice picture of a house cat playing in the leaves. Not sure if I spell leaves right, but I really do not care. So now what we are going to do is we're going to save this. So go file, save as, and let's call this house underscore cat. And let's save it as a PNG file. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's save this as a JPEG file. Let's make it a... You can save it as a PNG file if you want your files to look a little bit nicer. Um, we used five for all these. I think we can get away with a six. That's not that much bigger, and it does look a little bit better. So I'm going to go with a six this time and click OK. So now that we have this saved, we can come into Flash. Let's open up Flash. And I'm in, a cent I'm in my Essentials panel, and I'm going to go to my library over here. So let's go to our Image 2 layer, and let's unlock this layer. And we are going to, it, this is the layer with the lion. As I said, I did not want that lion anymore. So I'm going to show you the steps to insert a new image over that. So we're going to go File, Import, Import to Library. Grab that house cat and click open. 
Now when you see house cat in your library, and make sure you are on that right layer, so you're in that image two layer, and let's come to wherever that um wherever that image started. So let's go to frame 20 and let's drag that house cat in. And let's go modify, convert to symbol. Uh first, sorry about that, sorry about that. Let's click image two and let's click delete. Let's get rid of that symbol. We're gonna make this the new symbol image two. It doesn't overwrite here, so you gotta go modify convert to symbol, and let's call it image underscore two. Make sure it's a graphic, click OK. And let's drag this onto the canvas, make sure it's right in the middle, and all we have to do is hit Command and Control C, and click where each one of these keyframes are, and go edit, paste in place, click, edit, paste in place, and click frame 60, edit, paste in place. Now the classic tweens stay there, so all you have to do, your last step, is click right here, and let's go to our properties panel, and make sure you click the image, go to your alpha settings, and make them zero. And we are all done. So if you go file, publish preview, flash, and give it a second. So we will see, as we always did, we will start with the tigers, but then we will go to the house cat and we have our new description. So if you wanted to change the URL for that video, all you would do is you would come to the more info section and you would go to frame 30 where this URL is and you would click right here and you would pick a new URL link. So after you do this, I would advise to save it over again, publish it again, and just delete whatever you have in Dreamweaver and then just republish it real quick. So um, this has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. I hope you had as much fun with me in this entire series and I'm so glad that you have made it this far and you've enjoyed yourself and thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next series. Goodbye.